hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel on today's video i'm going to be teaching you how to make this beautiful trendy milky donuts so i'm also going to show you how to make the simplest milky filling for your donuts as well so if you haven't subscribed to my channel click the subscribe button and let's get right into the video for this donut you're going to be needing your flour you need your butter your yeast your egg sugar and your flavor for the ingredients i'm going to be dropping all measurements in the description box down below so do well to check it out so the first thing you will do is sieve in your flour into a bowl then go ahead to add your sugar you add your butter then you measure in your yeast and in your flavor then you crack in your egg then the next thing is your water i use lukewarm water exactly one cup leveled cup of warm water lukewarm please so i'm going to be um, taking it to the mixer to mix for exactly 20 minutes on the two second speed that's after the first speed the second speed so we're going to set our time now our donut is going to mix for 20 good minutes if you're not using a mixer and you're using your hand you might still want to mix for 20 to 25 minutes depending on the speed and how fast you are but then uh donut is mixed now for 20 minutes we have mixed on the second speed then we're going to bring this out and then prep for the proofing and all then before i do that i'm going to set my parchment paper and dust some flour on the parchment paper then rub butter on my hand before i bring out the dough so that it doesn't stick to my hand because the dough is a bit soft and a bit sticky so i'm going to clean the surface and cut the dough into small portions before that i'm going to like knead the dough a bit to make sure everything has incorporated very well because we mixed our dough with a mixer so i'm going to make sure it's well incorporated and it's stretchy how to know your dough is ready is when your dough is very stretchy and then you can literally see through the dough when you stretch it then you know that your dough is ready then i'm going to get my scale and cut out the doughs this is one recipe of this milky donut one recipe gives us about 10 dough if you're going to measure 90 gram each so i'm going to measure 90 gram for this video you can if you want something smaller you can measure 80 gram but this is um, 90 gram and it's giving us 10 dough like 10 pieces of the doughnuts 80 gram can give you up to 12 pieces if you want that you can also measure 100 gram but that would be too big for the dough so i'm going to um need each of the cuts each of the dough i cut out and mold it into my donut so watch closely how i'm just more like massaging or kneading the dough then when that is done i'm going to just kindly pinch the top pinch out the excess from the top and seal it very well please watch closely pinch the top and then seal it very well then make sure everything is covered so that when it's frying one part of the dough doesn't open in the oil then when it's done i'm going to keep it to proof for about 30 to 35 minutes before frying if your yeast is very active in 20 minutes time your dough is already like okay for you to fry unless your yeast is not very active then you can allow it to rest for 40 to 45 or even one hour till the dough doubles in size before you fry
So the first dough we molded was for our pillow donut. I'm going to show you how you can get your ring donut as well. Here you need a ring cutter. Then you just have to, with your rolling pin, you just have to roll out your dough and then cut closely in the middle. When you cut, then you remove the excess with your hand and then your ring donut um, is formed. When you open the uh, cutter, you're going to remove the excess in the middle. That's how to get your ring donuts from your pillow donuts. So when we are done molding our dough, you're going to cover this. Before you cover rather, you're going to dust it with flour so it doesn't stick to the um, nylon we are using to proof the dough. So the essence of covering it is so that it can have enough heat or to warm up and proof the dough faster. Then after that, we go over to frying our donuts. This particular day, we made a lot of donuts that um, I couldn't even film everything. But then I was able to get when we are putting the dough inside the hot oil. For you to fry, you are going to fry on a very low heat and a medium heated oil. Your oil shouldn't be too hot so your dough doesn't burn. So before you flip your dough, you have to ensure that one part of the dough has fried very well before you flip over to the other part just so you'll be able to get that perfect white line for your dough. Look at how these ones are frying. Very low heat. Please don't use hot oil. You like so so much heat to fry your dough. Use a very medium heated oil to fry your dough. And ensure that one part fries before you flip over to the other part. I'm flipping with my skewer. Or you can flip with anything you want to use. So when we're done frying, we will go over to coating our dough. This is how our donut comes out. Very beautiful. The body is dry, it's not like soaked in oil or anything. And I'm going to use loyal milk to coat my dough. You can decide to use any powdered milk of your choice. Or you can decide to sugar coat your dough. But in this case, we are milk coating our dough. So just rub the dough and um, rub the milk on the body of the donut as it's still hot so that it can absorb the milk very well. Yeah, when that is done, we will go over to making our feeling for the dough but before that this is how it looks very perfect very beautiful and very yummy ready for consumption as well but let's go over to like making our milky feeling for our dough first of all i'm going to like poke the dough with my skewer like make an opening for the filling so this is the simplest filling recipe i use i use condensed milk and powdered milk then mix both of them together. It gives me a very simple, yummy, and beautiful feeling. Very creamy as well. But then if you want to go extra, you can get your whipped cream, like a cup of powdered whipped cream. Mix it with like half cup of water, very cold water. Then allow it to chew for a bit. Then combine the whipped cream that you've already mixed with your creamy, milky feeling. Both of them combined together gives you another perfect feeling as well but for a simpler feeling you might want to go with this so open the middle and then press in your filling into your donut that gives you your very yummy milky donut so if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet do well to click the subscribe button like this video and share this video to someone who might need it thank you guys for watching i'll see you in the next one